Disjunction Introduction. In this video, you will learn about the Disjunction Introduction Rule. This rule is one of the simplest in natural deduction, but for some people, it doesn't seem intuitive. Disjunction Introduction says that if you have a formula, you can infer that formula, wedge, plus whatever you want. For example, if you have A, you can infer a wedge B. Now, in order to make this seem more sensible, consider the following example. Suppose you were going to have a birthday party, and at that birthday party, you were going to have ice cream. So, I'm going to have ice cream is a true statement. I come up to you and ask, are you going to have ice cream or broccoli at your party? Well, since you were going to have ice cream at your party, it must also be true that you're going to have ice cream, or broccoli, because disjunctions are true if one or both of the disjuncts are true. If we write premises matching the situation, we can see how disjunction introduction is supposed to work. Beginning with premise 1, let's have I, where I means I'm going to have ice cream. Our conclusion is going to be I or B, that is, I'm going to have ice cream or broccoli. And we justify it by one disjunction introduction. So disjunction introduction is pretty easy, but there are a couple of things to be aware of. First, note that you can add to the left or right sides of the formula. So you could just as easily do B or I, one wedge introduction. Furthermore, note that you can add whatever you want. Too often, those just learning disjunction introduction are thinking strictly about adding an atomic sentence. But if it is true you're having ice cream, it is also true that you're having ice cream or if you were flying to the moon, then you will be great at logic and you'll also be rich one disjunction introduction. That is disjunction introduction and how it works.